Hey guys, how you doing, mate? What's popping? What ain't popping? I don't care. Let's just continue with this lovely game. It's so fucking lovely that. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, just, just. Yeah. So. So how's everybody's day been? My day was plenty. I wouldn't say normal because I had to do seven work that uh, I kind of already did yesterday. But we realized that something didn't work out as we imagined. Thus, I had to um, make it fit and uh, do it again. Like, the machine we're currently building. Like, it has a conveyor belt underneath it. And, yeah. Next to conveyor belt, like, close to the uh, frame of the machine itself. There is, like, stepping plates of metal. Thus, you need to make sure they can fit inside, like, that the conveyor... Uh, Conveyor belt is far enough away, like all the measurements are still correct, so that's the conveyor belt also is centered under the machine. Thus I had to move out the legs of the machine, like push them out a little bit without moving the machine. So like putting a little bit under stress to make it fit. Then I had to redo it, the conveyor already did yesterday. Yeah, it was a lot of back and forth. It was a good old free hand job but I only had one hand because I was alone so yeah I had to compromise and uh, do it slowly but I did it and that's what counts I've been told and also you, you that all place you don't have to do fast work just gotta be reasonable and it gotta work so if you just, if you have difficulties, just take your time and make it work. Otherwise, if you cannot make it work and you have to rework it, either when you build it up at the buy of the machine, or like somebody else has to do it, that's always bothersome. So do it right the first time. I saw some of your internet, I never tried, but it's super convenient. If you shoot the different elements, like the opposing element, on the thing, they we wanted them. And it did work. Sapphire sword. Damn, I've never done that before. Yes, I'm an idiot. Why are you asking? You have my support. Well, well, well. You don't have mine yet. Let's see if that's already enough. Perfect. Ah. 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 
Yeah, if you want to go quint it at work. I have no fucking clue how to explain it. But just some screw screwing and drilling and yeah. But it's just a general thing that we do all the time, basically. But we talked about this game and uh, he's a lot further than me. And uh, yeah, we like talk about how he just finished the second temple and we are clearly on our way now to the second temple. I just want to get the map uncovered first. Which is something reasonable to do. Anyone with quests? Busy busy, flint, oil jar. Spicy pepper, reed. Let's get a pine cone and just try to fly up most of the distance. Well, it was at least one or maybe two letters we skipped. Let's call it two. So... I've learned a few things about the game. Still, and uh, Quinn already spoiled the ending for him, like with the Dragon Tears. Like he got, he got obviously f first the first one, and then he immediately got the last one. And he also talked to me that I missed Hetsu already. Like when I was supposed to poke to walk this path, there was somewhere where you could branch off and meet Hetsu. So maybe I can ask him right now. Give me a second, I'll send him a picture on WhatsApp. I wouldn't consider it cheating. Go Googling is cheating, but that ain't cheating. Where's the big fat ugly Korok with the fucking poo to inventory space transition, also called Hetsu? I know I mean to him, but just deserves what the cork quest itself deserves. But tomorrow will be first day, that's good. What's not good is that um, I'm doing stuff on first day, on Friday, and then I'm, I'm my dad again. Thus I would have actually have to record part a lot of parts now again, but I won't. I'll just play this game at my pace. If you're not satisfied enough with that, I won't care. That looks sus. Let's mark that to go next there. This is probably where the quest leads up t towards, but still. Uh, where's the... Opening hole? Door, maybe, you should call it? You want? <laughs> we cannot enter! supposed to do if there would be any way we can like set these on fire oh yeah we can now we can clear the fire all oh, right let's use that and i also went to the gym today and uh, spoke with another friend about this game because uh, he just started it 
and see it's just finished the tutorial and you know, it always was already was like yeah i got all of these nfc tags and i got all the different zelda amiibos on it and uh, it's already trying to get fierce deity stuff <laughs> which i get because it's cool it's hell Yeah, yeah, I, I, I cannot dislike that I cannot skip that. Wait. So Quinton said it was somewhere around... Oh, like a lot further back. That's something like here. Well... Let's go there after we've went here because I want to have more inventory space. So, um... Try... There, were, there was another shrine I saw. Yeah, like... Right over there. Uh, yeah, those are the only ones I can see right now in a blim. I actually wanted to sneak strike, but that also works. Yes, we will fight it. The fucking ice hydra. Another message. to get high, higher up to glide over there. Maybe not. I like they're doing a different approach to this game than to Breath of the Wild. Because Breath of the Wild I went with max hearts first and got zero stamina. The other way around also makes sense. I really gotta figure out how to get more batteries because I have zero fucking clue. Like, literally zero clue. Okay, from here we can reach higher, maybe we'll go first to the temple, to the shrine, sorry, then back down. It's marked the boss already. That one is too far away at the moment, let's give it a star. I mean, I'm dual draining batteries right now, I cannot just not use the uh, fire breather. I just use a torch and just light it up to use that instead. Oh, 
He just swung right over me. Oh, I gotta drop my shield. Okay, let's drop the useless one. Okay, so yeah, we can also just take this, but we will go ahead and take the shield. Well then, I guess we don't need that shield anymore. Less damage compared to the ones we fought first in the fucking water <laughs> temple. <laughs> Damn, now imagine Ocarina of Time. But you go to the water temple first. Probably would have been like, nah, dude. Nah. Also, this is probably a temple Quentin meant with, yay, yeah, you're learning how to use the rocket with a shield. Because I thought. Because I saw it in a YouTube video and he already, like, did it here. Is there no way he did it? Of the So we can shoot somewhere over there. We can go rotate this to also shoot somewhere over there. Well, that didn't work. We slip right off. Oh boy. Uh, that should still suffice. Nothing over there of any importance. Uh, I don't have the why did I come in, what was I doing thing because I always plan out what to do in the last part. So I always go to the end of the part. Yeah, next part we will go there and there. Already set the markers and then I remember. But still though. Now, Quinn and I were having a conversation of how we both start this game and just immediately 
have no clue what to do. I mean, I just said that I have somewhat of a clue. But still, you want to be plan to? Okay, I will go there. I planned to do the story, and then I just went like, okay, let's get this shrine and get the tower for the map, that would be quite good. Oh, there's the boss right there. Hey, why don't we do the boss yet? Okay, where's the hittable stone? Get, get a few a little bit of damage in damn level one that will be easy right now I'm also not going to follow the story I'm first going to go to Hetsu and everything That's what I said is also invalid now. So yeah, we just do whatever we want. He done. Whew. Oh, we don't have a bow equipped. Well, then. Oh, that was it. Do we have any strong weapon we want to... Sure, let's destroy the bow claymore. Pick it, go with fuse and make a strong weapon. What was over here? That's... okay, that was the chest he had. know that map means map so Dora the Explorer what did it teach the English speaking guys because with us like Germans it was uh, she taught us English like it was like a map map means German word for map hey that's cool was it for you Ooh, probably was something like Espanol. Or something, uh, because we got a spin off with like her cousin Diego, and this was with her. Uh, he showed us how to do Spanish. It could be that, uh, yeah, we were just ripped off. Oh, this is how you get up to normally. Okay, well then. Where's... Oh yeah, there's, there's heads. But let's go to this shrine over there. Then let's go down to the thing where the others were. And then go to Hetsu. And then go back to the village and start the main quest. We're kind of all over the place, but uh, that's what makes it nice, you know? Also, like, just talking with uh, friends about this game reminds me of, like, the good old days when you were still in the primary school. Also, like, high school, but high school was also a lot of internet already. But yeah, at least for me in primary school was, how do you get to know about games, like, what you can unlock, and something like that. You talk with it a 
talk about it with other people. For example, um, Smash Bros. Brawl was the Smash Bros. of our childhood. Thus, uh, people were like, so yeah, did you know you can actually play as Taboo and Master Head? Yeah, I unlocked him. I mean, how would you prove them wrong? They invented, like, an idiotic way to get it. He couldn't just be like, but but I didn't get him after finishing this, beating the uh, subspace. He could have been like, yeah, you can either beat it three times on very hard or extreme. I don't know what the highest one is. It's like something insane, insanely stupid like that. Mission Impossible music. I, I just tried to remember it. I couldn't. I know it's very iconic theme and everything, but when you try to remember something like that on the spot, you always go like, eh, what was it? Lasers that like hurt you. That's really mission impossible. Well, let's eat something. We cannot use the anti cold food anymore. Oh, Christ, we cannot climb this. But I could have made it with a shield jump. Okay, at the moment it turns around, we gotta go like... Nice. Okay, um... <laughs> Give me a second. I'm, I'm already on YouTube. Okay, I got it. Be Do -do -do. Do -do -do. That's the only thing I could remember right now, but you know what I mean. You're not some idiot like I am. You've got to be kidding me. How am I supposed to get inside now? Well, take a gander for yourself. Yeah, I'll smash the rocks for you. No worries. box makes is quite durable. It is just yeah, a travel sword. Then let's get something else out. Let's 
That's good enough. Why do they always give you 20 rupees? Can one of us give us like 10 billion? Do this cave and then sh teleport to Hetsu. Nothing in there, good. <laughs> that should be enough. I was kind of sad in my childhood. Uh, I've been watching animes since I was like four, basically, and some people don't believe me. I guess that's kind of reasonable, but that, that actually is the case. I um, got a present for my grandmother for my 21st birthday, and it was like. I have a few pictures inside, and it's literally just me, like, four, five, maybe six years old, wearing a I am Vegeta t-shirt. So, yeah. But, um, like, watching anime back in the day, like, when you were this young, was cool, because it was people finding in a, in a cartoon, basically. So you went like, yeah, that's cool. But then you came into high school and were like, you watch animes, ugh. Why do you do that? Aren't those for child? And I always go like, but, but, but animes are cool. You should try watching them. And they never do. They never did. Like, uh, my favorite anime is One Piece. Like some people got like Naruto and stuff because Naruto was cool and edgy on the first look. I mean it's not as good as One Piece when you when you know both of them, but still. But yeah, like even a friend of mine, like he's into One Piece now, which makes it more hilarious. He was like, yeah, what is so good about just a rubber boy fighting and everything. I'm like, okay, but that's not what One Piece is about. It ain't just about the fighting, though. What did you got Dragon Ball in there? Dragon Ball, they scream too much. No, they don't. They scream not nearly enough. What would Dragon Ball be without a good scream? How do you know the tech is powerful if he doesn't announce it? Oh, now I also know why Quinton fought the hand. You bloody bastard, you've led me right into a trap. I went down the cave and what was there? What was there? Do you know what was there? The fucking hands you battled against. Well, yeah, we will try to find them. Quinton said it's hard, but can't be too hard, right? We'll just save beforehand. I don't know what we got a blessing for like this easily now, but sure, I'll take it. So yeah, there was nobody for me to talk animes about. I mean, now I've got some. It's always worse when people are like, but I, but I don't like this. Have you ever tried watching it? No. So how do you know you don't like it? I've seen 10 seconds of a clip on YouTube. 
But so if I show you the best 10 seconds of anything, even though it's entirely shit, you will be like, oh, I, I love it. I'll watch it immediately. Uh, try to grab this. You bastard. Um. That's bad. I think bombs and arrows was was the way to go. No, I thought maybe they were like uh, light, but uh, that didn't happen. What? So that what that's what happens when you fight them off. That's interesting. Well, it's Go for a little bit more attack power. Go get him, Zero. He does so much fucking damage. Good. Let's let's get into it. Give okay, get him a little damage in. with them you're going you're going to need it Christ but phantom Ganon, I, I I saw a, like the boss thingy like the, 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 uh, the line on top with the name of him I saw that in a YouTube show and I immediately like, clicked away I thought it was like a fight and uh, like it was an Ocarina of Time but I guess it wasn't Really easily see where is he going, where he is going to strike, but I still uh, managed to <laughs> fuck this up.
This is bad. We are uh, we are a one hit now. Good. Let's let's get this over quickly. easy boss it feels like I, he doesn't have the most complicated attack pattern but i don't have the i'll do flurry rush every time timing out yet i hope i already defeated the hand nope we did not oh we still got all the bombs yes we do I'm sure let's try this one more time. Grubel right underneath here. Dashes in, then I gotta obviously attack him. I'd like to have something to poke him, like a spear. That would be enough range for me to go, like, sure, let's attack him a little bit closer up. I try to remember this timing though. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Get a little bit more damage in. I wonder what he will give us at the end. If he gives us something, we will maybe fight the hands again if it was worth it. But I promise you the next time we see them we won't fight them. Also when I don't make it, I definitely know I don't make it, I can try to parry still. Oh, 
concentrating on not making the parry. He hasn't got quite the attack range, and if you don't hit him... Like, the, the, I feel the... The, um... The, either you flurry dodge him, which is called that, like, perfect dodge him, or the window is, like, still that he can still, like, hit you. Okay, now I just proved myself wrong. Okay, we can get a sword. Gloom sword. Its gloom will gradually wear down the body of its wielder. So probably the anim enemy. But it's a good weapon to have and keep. <laughs> Demon King's bow, the hammocks. The more attack. A lot of dark clump. That doesn't feel like it was worth it. <laughs> Let's start the looting process. But yeah, when, when we encountered them, like the very first few part of him was maybe part three or so, we definitely wouldn't have been able to beat them. And even if we were able to beat them, I would have been like, There's no Phantom Ganon! Okay, now we need to go deeper. haven't explored everything of this. Wait, well, there, there we can go further. the thing is checked off and then let's no the shrine is right here so then let's go and f find Hetsu Oh boy, you just saw what I saw? Uh, uh, let's use this weapon, the shield is fine, the bow is fine too. So Quinton on the picture he shows me that heads so should be like somewhere over here. Right. 
right underneath this cave. Christ, I should learn to read. Let's move over there. Sure, it's, nah, we don't need to fight them. We just had a big fight behind us. That's enough fight for one part. <laughs> hmm. Head to you, nice guy. before we walk right through here if he was here we wouldn't have missed him I think Interesting. I'll ask Quinton again. <laughs> it's So this picture is shows some, somewhere around here. Right here. Huh. Anyway, I just said what I didn't said I would do. I googled. Does I know where he is? Oh wow. The problem was that after you finish one temple or more, he won't spawn there. So we already missed this quest. He was born to look out. That's that's nice, right? <laughs> yes, he is he's he's I think I can see him. Do they have any like more? How much? Free, free, and free. I got something that's equally as good. I must dance! Shakla, you can see me today! I'm Coral! I'm from Coral Forest! Yeah, we can, we can see you. We can see you. We 
Diamonds. Just go like I need five there, five there, and five there. Like we done now. We're going to click through it. We have to click through it. Yeah. I think we need everything reasonably <laughs> expanded. Especially if, if it's like not that much yet. We should probably stay rather evenly and then just go with everything we need weapons weapons are powerful we need all of them i should all takes so much time, it's almost like you should've found him before and don't go there with all the Korok seeds at once. We go with one more shield, one more s uh, weapons, and then we're good. Because bows are pretty durable, you don't need that much of them. And like, now we will find a lot of very good bows, and I cannot take every one of them with me. That will be the case. Okay, good. Let's go to the goddess as well. Get a little bit more stamina. By the way, if we get one wheel of stamina, we'll go with hearts for a little while. It'll be quite fine. So now we go with hearts. And now we're good. And now we can continue with the thing we wanted to do an hour ago. The main quest. <laughs> I mean, we can do a joke and make this part end and yeah, like the next part, make it start exactly as we started this part. That would be so hilarious, right? Yeah, I can already imagine it. Yeah. yeah. Right?
That's why we got stamina. I think this should this stamina should take us a good way through the game. Son Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Ugh. Well, maybe if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. As long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you always be my little chick. Yeah, his main chick, not a side chick. What you think I can't? I'm already fully fledged, you know. You'll change you too when I ace today's scouting trip. You can all keep wasting your time treating the Song of the Storming Stormwind Ark like a trio, but not me. <laughs> Listen, you. Unbelievable. Tulin wants to let him go what's causing the blizzard, and he's having trouble hearing no. Mention Song. <gasps> it's not folk song from here in Richard Village. Yes, of our evil, a great flagship, or. Also claims the song that's been passed down for generations. It's a song for children, mind you. It's not true. Well, several now and then we get a repose of language combined with upheaval far-fetched. Even if the song of the Stormwind Arcs is children's rhyme, I suspect that there's something lurking high in the sky, but as a children we can't look, it's too fake, and he thinks I'm a coward. But those are reader matters, you can hear some some purpose, yes? Yeah, well, uh, Zelda, yes. What? The ceremony is then not even Harry Castle safe. Princess Zelda's appearance was strange from the radio somehow. We read her with ordinary love to contribute to search. But there's no business, there's no sign of stopping us. Yeah, for food. We need food. I wish there was something I could do. Ah, oh, yes, but maybe you should, uh, you should try to drink to half. You see the two bonfires on the. Where we just were. Who would have guessed it? This is. Sometimes it would just be, just be easier doing f things the way it's supposed to be done. Well then. Guess we do that in the next part. Hey, hey, hey. 